Hi there, this is the third part of the tutorial series that is the tracking in Boju and Maya. So in this tutorial uh, we are going to set up the scene in Maya uh, for the basic texturing and how to cast shadow uh, and uh, how to position the box and uh, so uh, this is uh, the box and you need to place it uh, to the area to a area like uh, it is going to stay on uh, beside the just beside the building and so just uh, place it on the place you want and now we can scrub through the timeline and see and select the camera view select camera and on the attribute editor you can set up all the, all the things and uh, you can just for the reason we are just uh, selecting the small and this is just uh, you can see the scene so uh, now what we will do we will uh, just load the alpha again that way you can uh, see the behind the camera that was the image file there and this is our uh, building so you can you can see uh, the difference by lowering the alpha again and upping the alpha again and uh, now what we will do we will just set up a plane for the base and also for the for to cast shadow so we have uh, placed a plane here and just you need to align that and you can uh, see through the pers perspective window window camera sorry camera and uh, just select the plane and up it a little bit and now selecting the camera or the plane uh, you can see that uh, you have placed it on the right area so no we have to just I mean look to the camera one to see the effects so for that reason uh, and we will also can also click on the fixed and now we are going to create directional light to cast shadow from the building on the plane so just uh, place a uh, directional light on the area and uh, we can test render it that how it looks and we can look through the selection selected camera then we can increase the alpha and we can tweak the light according to our needs and that you can see that uh, the light is not casting shadow because we have not set the shadow so click on the shadow and click on the use depth map shadow and filter size increase a little bit now test render yes there is a shadow but what we have to do we have to actually uh, give those a little bit different material for the building we will use a lamp board with a texture file that is the shaker that is going to be the shaker and uh, press the 6 key on your keyboard to view the checker and what we will do we will increase the UV like 8 and V to 10 and like uh, it is going to be need to imp increase a little bit of 15 will be fine so this is the view and we got to now actually uh, see uh, I mean we got to increase the light a little bit on the left portion of the building so click the light and you can control D or edit duplicate on the menu so we have duplicated the light and for this light we are not going to cast shadow so we will uh, check it off and uh, we will uh, check its intensity a little lower so that way we can 
a little bit yeah six one something so yeah it is looking nice and uh, maybe a little bit high yeah now it is uh, going to be fine and a tweak a little bit so now we are uh, ready to actually render and uh, yeah if right click on the plane assign new material and use background so this is going to be this is a um, I mean for the shadow to show on the plane there is no and if you click on the also alpha it is uh, it is gonna show the black shadow like white so this thing need to remember you you need to remember and now what we will do uh, we will uh, look through the camera that is camera one and uh, select the camera and uh, you can see that the play that the box is uh, or the building still is actually on the right place uh, it is upon you it is up to you where you are going to place that so the animation will be like this and uh, so we need to just now set up the render and uh, click on the common tab and here you can find all the we are going to select the HD 720p that is going to the HD image because our image is HD and uh, for the file name has .ext and select 0 for the first frame uh, since this is the 0 for the beginning and the last like uh, 118 so enter it and hit ok and now you can check it on or off and click for the intermediate quality and now for the name portion right click and choose any anything you want version or scene or layer anything so now uh, we are ready to render so I will render the image and show you and so far for that uh, our scene is set up now and just we need to batch render so for select the rendering tab on the left render go for the batch render and now it is rendering and I'm pausing the video yeah um, now my render is finished and this is the render so look on the alpha channel uh, there is the shadow with the building and it is shadow and you can see so this is the third part and I will pause the video this is this will be the third part I mean just for the rendering purpose and now then we are going to thank you for watching